Hi, I'm Elizabeth Chang Davidson from Space Cookies Team 1868, and today I'm going to talk about the design process and how it works. So, the design process is important because it helps you increase efficiency and design the best possible solution to whatever your problem is. So, the fir first part of the design process is research. You should figure out what the existing solutions are so that you don't have to reinvent the wheel. You need to define your parameters, which sometimes means doing the math and saving the world as Mark would say, and you need to figure out, um, for example, you can't build things too tall, otherwise they'll fall over or they might break the rules. You have to figure out what the rules you're designing under are. After you figure that out, then you get to brainstorm. You write down all the ideas that you have, even the crazy ones, because sometimes the crazy ones help inspire you to have ones that are slightly more concrete, and they're fun to think about. You try to get as many ideas as possible so that later, when you're trying to choose one, you have more to choose from. And once you're done brainstorming, then you prototype. You pick one of the ideas, hopefully one of the slightly less crazy ones, and you build it to see how it works. You can build it on CAD if you have access to that. You can build it out of wood or scrap material if you have that in order to try to keep down costs. And you want to do this for many ideas so that you have a better idea of how each of these ideas would work. After you're done prototyping, then you have to evaluate all your ideas that you prototyped. You look at each of the ideas and you see how well they work. You see what data you gathered from your prototypes. Maybe you figured out that this definitely doesn't work. Don't consider that idea then. But once you um, have evaluated all these ideas, then you have to pick one for your final project. And the idea that you picked for your final project, then you produce it. You make it better than the prototype uh, using what you learned and what you failed with on the prototype and you make a more finalized version of this idea. And then when you're done with that, then you get to evaluate that idea. You look at how well it worked and you see if you want to change it. So the way I've just described it, the design process may seem like it's only linear. You go from one step to the next step. But actually, if you run into some giant obstacle at one step, then you go back to the last step and you try again. Or if you decide that it's not good enough, you go back and you make it better. Going through the design process more than once will help you refine your machine so that in the end it's the best possible machine. So the steps of the design process are you start with research and then you go to brainstorming and then you prototype, then you evaluate, then you produce a final version, and then you evaluate that final version.